Warner Brothers and DC are currently developing a Blue Beetle movie for the DCEU which will exclusively release on HBO Max. And we've already previously gotten confirmation that Shola Mayor Duena has been officially cast as Jaime Reyes AK Blue Beetle for this film which I'm so excited for and speaking of that with the official uh, cast list I guess you could say or like star list for DC Phantom it was revealed that Sholo will be appearing there along with the director of this film Angel Manuel Soto so we are definitely getting some Blue Beetle updates at DC Phantom just a few weeks away so I'm really excited for that. But until then, we do have another update on the film because we possibly now know the villain of the Blue Beetle HBO Max movie because, again, like I said, Shola Maraduena is going to be playing Blue Beetle in this film. And recently on his Instagram story, he posted this image of Blood Beetle and, of course, did that classic thing of, like, oh, actor in a movie, post something on, their, on social media and then quickly deletes it, and that usually means that they're teasing something. And I think that he is, because this would make perfect sense, because for those of you who don't know who Blood Beetle is, and I didn't really know until a couple minutes ago, I did a little bit of research on Google, um, about the character of Blood Beetle, because this could possibly be the villain of the movie, and Sholo was just teasing us with this, which I think is going to be really cool. So anyway, for those of you who don't know who Blood Beetle is, he is, of course, a Blue Beetle villain, and originally he starts off as actually Jaime's best friend, Paco. But then as time goes on and Jaime gets more and more deeper into his superhero life as Blue Beetle, his best friend has no idea that Jaime is Blue Beetle. But then somehow he ends up getting taken over by another scarab, very similar to how Jaime gets bonded with the blue scarab and becomes Blue Beetle, Well, Paco bonds with a red scarab or scarlet scarab to become the Blood Beetle. And... Uh, at least from what I could tell, just from the little bit of research I did on the character, it doesn't seem like he's in control. So it sounds like if he is going to be the villain of this movie, it's not going to be his fault. So it's going to be like he's Jaime's best friend. So Jaime has to battle his best friend, but Paco is not in control. So somebody else is controlling this scarab. And I think that makes a lot of sense, especially for this origin film, because, you know, Jaime is just going to be getting used to using the scarab and he's going to be learning throughout this movie to control the scarab and make sure that the scarab doesn't control him and then it seems like we're going to be having the opposite side of things where Paco is also going to be bonding with the scarab but he is not going to be as good at controlling it as Jaime will be. And I, I just think this makes so much sense. It, it it just sounds like it would be really really cool and I mean just looking at the design of Blood Beetle it, it also I mean kind of just a genius idea of like if you're gonna do Blue Beetle versus another Beetle which I mean most of Blue Beetle's villains are just variations of colors of Beetles like Black Beetle and Green Beetle and you know all that stuff um it makes sense that it would be red because you know like blue and red are kind of like two major opposite colors so I feel like it's gonna be visually really really cool to see on screen and also Blood Beetle is just such a like dark and scary and really cool terrifying name that I think would work really really well in this film and also another thing I just wanted to point out that I found in my little bit of research about the character that I have no idea if it actually will be anything here is that there are some ties in Paco's story to Peacemaker, who of course is the character we were introduced to in The Suicide Squad, played by John Cena. He's going to be getting his upcoming HBO Max series in January. We're getting some stuff for that at DC Phantom as well. Uh, but Peacemaker is involved in his story, and we've heard previous reports that John Cena will be appearing again as Peacemaker in the DCU in other projects other than Suicide Squad and Peacemaker-related things. So I think that would be really, really cool if maybe we saw Peacemaker show up in the Blue Beetle movie to tie into and connect the blood beetle story just like it did in the comics i think that'd be a really really cool idea but anyways guys of course this kind of just a theory because you know sholo just like post this real quick and deleted it but i definitely think the fact that he deleted it means that he was teasing something and if this does end up being true and we do get blood beetle as the main villain of the blue beetle movie I think that would be really cool, and that gets me really excited for this film. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the news that we could possibly be getting Blood Beetle as the main villain of the upcoming DC HBO Max Blue Beetle movie? So, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything goes on in the DC life.